Hi, Handy Andy here. It's recently been revealed that Google are working on an awesome dark theme for Chrome on Windows. So, if you'd like to try it out, here's what you need to do. Firstly, since this theme hasn't yet been added to the standard version of Chrome that you've already got on your PC, you'll need to download Chrome Canary, an experimental version of the browser that adds some new untested features. But don't worry, it won't replace your existing version of Chrome, it actually installs alongside it. So all you need to do is go to the download page and then download and install it. Next, you need to find the properties of the shortcut that you use to open the browser. What I mean by this is, if you open the browser from its desktop shortcut, all you need to do is right click on it and click properties. Alternatively, if you open it from the start menu or the taskbar, it's a little bit trickier. What you need to do is go into your search function and search for Chrome Canary. Then see this first item that's come up, the one that has a desktop app underneath it? That's the one that you want. So right click on it and click open file location. The window that opens will contain a list of the shortcuts in your start menu. So right click on the Chrome Canary shortcut, which should already be highlighted and then click properties. Okay, so now we're in the properties dialog. See this field down here called target? Now that mainly tells Windows where the Chrome program is located, but it also allows you to add some flags to enable special features. So right at the end and after that ending quote mark, type this, hyphen hyphen force hyphen dark hyphen mode, just like that. Now when you open Chrome, the title bar and menus should be dark. It's not perfect, just look at that menu text, the contrast is really horrible. And also the setting screen is not dark, but it does work mostly, and it will do until Google adds the dark mode as a standard feature. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful. I'm Handy Andy, and thank you for watching.